What is a Stirling engine? A Stirling engine is a heat engine that operates by cyclic compression and expansion of air or other gas, the working fluid. At different temperature levels such that there is a net conversion of heat energy to mechanical work. The engine is like a steam engine in that all of the engine's heat flows in and out through the engine wall. How it works. This is traditionally known as an external combustion engine in contrast to an internal combustion engine where the heat input is by combustion of a fuel within the body of the working fluid. Unlike the steam engine's use of water in both its liquid and gaseous phases as the working fluid, the Stirling engine encloses a fixed quantity of permanently gaseous fluid such as air. As in all heat engines, the general cycle consists of compressing cool gas, heating the gas, expanding the hot gas, and finally cooling the gas before repeating the cycle. The heat source is where the engine gets all its energy from, and it could be anything from a coal fire to a solar mirror concentrating the heat of the sun or just hot water as in our case. Although described as external combustion engines, Stirling engines don't have to use combustion at all. They simply need a difference in temperature between the heat source, where the energy comes from, and the heat sink, where it ends up. In a Stirling engine, there's one completely internal piston called a displacer whose job is to move the gas between the heat source and the heat sink. Unlike a normal piston in a steam engine, the displacer fits very loosely, with a little room to spare between the edge of the piston and the wall of the cylinder. And the gas flows around the outside of it as it moves back and forth. There's also a working piston, which fits tightly into the cylinder. The work piston usually has a heavy flywheel attached to build up momentum and keep the machine operating smoothly. The work piston and the displacer piston are both constantly moving, but they are out of step, one quarter cycle or 90 degrees out of phase with one another. They're powered by the same wheel, but the displacer piston is always one quarter cycle ahead of the work piston.